Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about what you can plant still, warm weather crop wise, in July, early August. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. I have a good 75 days to 90 days before a hard frost rolls in. But because it is summer, obviously, today's the 12th of July, the soil is really warm, the temperatures are really warm, so your warm weather crops are going to germinate much more quickly than you think and they're going to really take off and grow faster than they normally would if we were planting them out in May and stuff when it was cooler. So first thing, these are actually cowpeas, which are a form of beans. All your beans you can plant now. You can put in a whole other wave of beans. And as we walk through the garden, I'll show you examples of plants at different size. So put on your list beans, bush beans, pole beans, you still have time to grow them. Potatoes, I just did a reel. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I do one minute garden videos just about every day. These are new potatoes, basically baby uh, red Pontiacs and what is it, Yukon Golds that sprouted in my house. So I started planting potatoes today. I'll be doing a full video on this later this afternoon. But you can get in another wave of potatoes in July. If you like dill, this is my mammoth dill. I'm letting it really attract insects, letting it seed, going to collect the seeds, but you can plant dill right now. You have time for that. Um, let's go right over here. This is a zucchini plant. It is now 28 days old. 28 days, it's grown from seed to this. This will start flowering over the next week. It'll begin producing really in the next 7, 10, 14 days. This will continue to produce all season long. You could, in theory, if you've got that 75 days, start some determinate tomatoes. This is actually a Metz wild cherry. This is an indeterminate variety, but it is 28 days old. This will double and triple in size over the next week and it's going to take off. But you could start determinate tomatoes that are usually maturing and ready in 60 to 70 days versus the indeterminates that can take longer. These are pole beans, 28 days old. You can start again, the pole beans. Right in here are cucumbers. I seeded them six days ago. They're going to come up, they're going to take off, and you're going to get them really as quickly as 45 days. Bunching onions, which are ready to harvest. However, you could throw in another round of bunching onions. They're cool crops, although they can, you know, thrive and do perfectly well in the warmth. They can take a frost. So you can put in bunching onions now, and even if they're Maturing more slowly, one, they still taste great if you harvest them early, but they can take that frost so they can grow past your frost time. Here are some beets. They're pretty beat up. I've been harvesting them. There's not much left. Beets can manage in the cool weather too, but they can start going into the ground July and in August. And if you want to follow me, I'll be doing a whole planting of the cool weather crops starting um, really in August, getting them going while it's warm and then knowing they're going to mature as that cool weather comes in. Second or third wave of cucumbers. Keep those cucumber plants rolling in. Let's go over here to the tower. Right in there is some basil that's 10 days old. The best way to grow basil, drop seed every couple of weeks throughout the summer. You'll get a continuous supply. It does really, really well. Bush beans. Again, I don't, so let me just double check. Yeah, these might only be 14 days old, 10 to 14 days old. They are growing nicely, so I'm growing them in containers. Spinning over here, got some more beans, bush beans that are about 14 days old right in there. Now, the experiment that I'm doing is I put up some shade cloth, have a video on this already. These are all cool weather crops that I put in here. If you want to check that video out, I'll put it in the video description. So we've got beans, basil, dill, potatoes, Cucumbers, zucchini. Let's see what else we can find. This is my second wave of basil, still going strong, but again, I planted the seeds, you know, maybe seven, ten days ago just to keep that going. You can also grow okra from seed. Okra matures really quickly and germinates super fast. It actually loves the heat. That's okra. That will start flowering probably in about a week. This plant will actually almost get as tall as these sunflowers. So they also are a great way to bring shade to your garden and then you can harvest the uh, okra pods right off the plant. You want to get them when they're about two inches tall. Squash and zucchini. Summer squash. We usually 
look at that as the yellow squash. Uh, zucchini is green, that's also a summer squash. You can also start winter squash though, and winter squash are squash that store a little bit better. This is spaghetti squash. These are actually six weeks old, but they mature really quickly. I can also see all right, I just thought that was powdery mildew, which it wasn't, thank goodness. You can start uh, acorn squash, spaghetti squash, and butternut squash now. It grows really quickly, and that will give you some squash that stores a little bit longer. When you're growing, that's scallop squash right in there. When you're growing the summer squash, they tend to have to be used pretty quickly because they don't store as long. But you could get in some of the winter squash. Scallop squash, another zucchini plant that is about 10 days ahead of that one I showed you. Um, it's a different variety, it's not as big, but you can see that it's starting to flower. So keep everything kind of rolling in. More cucumbers, those are watermelons that I started from seed right in there. They're about six weeks old. You actually have time for some of the quicker growing, maybe bush varieties of uh, watermelon or cantaloupe. This is cantaloupe. Because, again, I want to stress that the soil temperature has really heated up to 70, even 80, and even that top inch of soil, maybe 90 degrees with all this heat. That warmth gets these seeds germinating quickly. The roots love the warmth, the, the warm crops do, and they really thrive and grow quickly. So when you look on a seed pack and you see uh, 55, 60 days to maturity, that's fine for general information, but in the summer, germination is much more quicker and the growth is much more faster and that means you're going to get plants uh, that really take off and thrive and you're going to get production out them more quickly than it says on the seed packet cucumber wave two or something like that green beans are in there what else can you grow <laughs> the plants in here need a little bit of love but beets i already mentioned over in there were some rutabagas. I'm not going to grow them again. I wasn't that impressed by them. But you can get in your purple top turnips now, more beets. You can start putting in carrots. Carrots will like the warmth to germinate. They grow more slowly. Those are carrots that I let uh, flower for attracting insects. So some of those cool crops can start getting planted now. It's probably hot. You know, you go down to Texas and south, it's too hot. But as you're rolling into middle of August, when I do that series on cool crops, you can get a lot of them in the ground when it's still warm. They like that warmth to really germinate, and then those temperatures fall quickly, the soil temperature falls quickly, and then they really thrive. So you can get them going. But you can get in purple top turnips, you can put in beets now, they're gonna do okay here in Maryland Zone 7. That is a butternut squash plant. It grows probably, six inches a day. I mean, if I did a slow motion camera on here or something, it would be pretty cool to see just how this quickly this plant creeps out. That is a kale plant that I started back in April. You can drop kale seeds now. They may not taste the best because sometimes in the warmth they're a little bit bitter, but they're going to establish, they're going to grow, and the flavor is going to start coming back to them as the cool weather comes. And they can take a frost and they can even take a pretty hard freeze. Collard greens are something you can start dropping now too. And then here is some uh, blue curled kale. So don't be afraid to start planting some of the cool crops now that can manage with some of the heat. Some of your warm weather crops that you think, oh, you've missed the boat and you can't do it, they're gonna just, as I said, they're gonna grow really, really quickly. You still have plenty of time for summer crops and there's plenty that I missed. Let me just walk around one more time, think about what else you could plant. Here's one of my favorite crops. I actually planted them outside my garden. This is Swiss chard. It grows well in the heat, it's heat tolerant, it will grow into the fall, it will grow with the frost coming in. You can plant that now from, now from seed. Stalks are great, stir fried up. Leaves, you can kind of just peel away from the stalk, cut them up, you can saute them down or you can even use them in salad. So that's one group of my Swiss chard, here's a red one that I've been harvesting, and look at the beauty down here. Again, these are taking the heat, and it's even hotter here because of the black top of my driveway just really bakes this area. But just massive, beautiful leaves. Swiss chard is something you can plant now. This is a vertical tower from Greenstalk Gardens. This is loaded with cilantro, which tends to like the cooler temperatures, but you can put it in now. It's just going to kind of bolt quickly, but you'll still get some nice uh, cilantro leaves off of that. But it's mostly basil and cilantro, and you can see this has been four days. 
the basil is already starting to come up. Again, that heat really gets them going. You can even start planting strawberries. These are ever-bearing, not June-bearing, not alpine. So if you are able to find, and a lot of, it, a lot of them will be on sale now, you can buy the ever-bearing strawberries, get them planted where you want them to go, start watering them a lot, and they will continue to produce through the summer and even into the fall. So it's not too late for strawberries. But I just want to be clear that you want to get the ever-bearing type. And these just, you know, keep coming. They've been producing since uh, early June, actually. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. It's not too late to get planting for your summer garden. And now's really the time to start thinking about, all right, the cool weather's starting to roll in. What might I want to start? Uh, thinking about in the way of transplants. That being maybe sometimes people start broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower as transplants and bring them outside. And you can also think about everything you want to start by seed. Thanks for watching. And again, please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Enjoy your weekend and keep planting.